The Sora app came out, which is an all AI generated social media platform mm -hmm. by OpenAI. Mm -hmm. And when I got there, I was shocked at what I saw. Mm -hmm. I saw videos that were indistinguishable from reality. And what I also saw were videos that had a lot of initially a lot of African-American icons that were content was created behind. I'm talking about Martin Luther King. I'm talking about uh, Malcolm X. I'm talking about Tupac. I'm talking about Big Michael Jackson. I'm talking about Michael Jackson. Yeah. And what I did not like about that whole situation, number one, is that the, the legacy, the families of these individuals, whoever owns the IP, is not giving people permission for Michael Jackson to be making a fried chicken commercial or, you know, stuff like that. It's just like not, it's not cool. And so, but, but it, it, it posed a larger issue. And the fact is like, we don't know what is real. Like what, what we consider real is why what we see and what we hear. Mm -hmm. And the danger in that is, is that up until now, video and audio, primarily video was the end all be all. That's how you win cases. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you think about, um, uh, what's the, what's the video footage that just came out, um, of the football player? Um, dang, why am I? Ty, Ty Lacey, right? Kyron Lacey. So when you think about Kyron Lacey, that whole process of, of proving his innocence was a video of showing that he was 75 yards behind the accident. Now we have programs that could say he was right there. No matter of fact, his car is the car that caused that. Mm -hmm. That's what's giving me concern with the way that social media is looking right now. And I, you know, I think that these tech companies are over indexing on AI. I think there's going to be the divide that a huge portion of, of the world and the community are want, are going to want to live in reality. And there are the people that are not going to want to, but I think they're over, they're overestimating what people think that they want with AI. Oh, regulation, regulations either need, hopefully are coming but they definitely need to be coming. It's yeah. a it's a hard thing, right? Because you're like, okay, let's regulate. And then we are one government and one country. Then China, Russia, whoever else. I'm so concerned about like, you know, not being able to tell what's real. We had a guy in Cobb County. He was uh, accused of abducting a child. It didn't happen. They released the, the footage from the Walmart. It's like, it didn't happen. And he was being held or whatever. But now, like you're mentioning, Somebody could just be like, oh, we have the evidence right here. We have everything that we need. He did it. And now scale that out. Now you can have a deep fake of a world leader saying we are declaring war in the United States. Mm -hmm. And for all intents and purposes, from everything that we check out, somebody could be like, yeah, that's real. And now we have people at the top of our government planning what's their next action because somebody just declared war on us. And now we're that the AI is not only for, you know, deceiving people for like whatever monetary reasons, it's getting political. We're now the president of the United States is releasing fake AI videos of himself saying things that are untrue. We are getting to the point where we can't even regulate this. Like what is going to happen next when this actually becomes something that like kills somebody or starts like a major crisis? Well, let me, let me jump in and say this. Mm. When you think about um, convictions versus exonerations, mm. black people are number one in exonerations because of evidence. Mm -hmm. So who do you think they're going to use evidence for that body cam footage or that video that proves the innocence of a person? How do you, how do you, who do you think is going to use that to, to use it against black people to incarcerate people? So this is my problem with like Sora too. I think that, you know, again, I think that AI is always, I always say this when you, when you, when you invent a product or you build something and AI is, is no different. You have to take it to hell before you take it to heaven. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we're taking it to hell. I don't think we're thinking about the worst case scenarios that could happen in building something so massive and so powerful, as opposed to the amazing outcomes that AI can create and generate for people. But well, we're not thinking about the negative things they can do. And when I saw Sora, I was number one, I was, I was really offended by some of the things that I saw. And also, again, I've, I've been saying this for years that you're going to have to, I've told people they need to trademark their name, image, and likeness, number one. And then two, we're in the future. When you call my phone, mark my words. Listen to what I'm saying right now. Somewhere in the very, very near future, when you call my phone, there's going to have to be a blue check beside your name. If that blue check is not beside your name, that isn't you. You're going to have, we're, going to have to, we're going to be verified in real life because I don't know who I'm talking to on the phone. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something that was funny last night. DL called me 
and I didn't answer the phone because I didn't know who it was. Wait, and this is D.L. Hughley? D.L. Hughley called yeah. me on the phone. It's so funny. And then he called back, and then I sent it to voicemail, and I saw his name. Like, hey, I can see, and I answered. And he goes, he goes, see, if you was living your life right, you wouldn't have to be ducking. <laughs> I was like, no, you don't understand. We're in a world right now where you don't know who is calling you. You don't know who's trying to get your voice. You don't know who's calling you on the phone. Like, for the imagine these past four or five years when everybody's been calling, calling your phone and nobody's speaking on the other end. Mm -hmm. And you're like, hello? Who is this? Anybody there? Yeah, that's them grabbing your voice. The Think about that. They could be yeah. grabbing your voice just to have you talk. Hello? Who is this? Mom, is that you? Imagine people just recording your voice. That's why when people answer the phone, I don't say, if I don't know the number, I just hold the phone like this. You speaking before I speak. And a lot of times, it just hangs up. Right? And that's what it is. You know, like, that's already here. Like, yeah. People, especially you're a public figure, and me now, I guess, mm -hmm. somebody just goes and takes a social media video, synthesizes it, put it in AI. Now they can call, put it through a voice modulator. Now they can call anybody they want as you. Yeah. They can call a family member, be like, hey, whatever. They, they were talking about like people need safe words because like, like, oh, what's the code? If they, you know, you're like, oh, you don't know the code. I guess it's not you. We're, to, we're in a scenario now where people can't even determine what reality is. Being verified is going to matter in real life, real it's verification. Scary. It's scary. So let me, let me ask, well, one, it's happening already. People are already doing the voice synthesizer scams yeah. to, yeah, to um, elicit money, um, so on and so on, right? Mm -hmm. My question to you as a platform owner, do you plan on being on tagging ai content we're going to have to like this time that i spent i spent an, an enormous amount of time on sora the last you know four or five days and i was like we're going to have to because i actually think that that is going to be an actual draw in social media there is no ai over here everything is real like the real world exists over on fan base again you can i don't i don't, I don't have a problem if you edit your photo do you know you know, you want to brighten your teeth or shrink your waist or whatever. Fine. Use AI for that. But total, like, 100% fake generated content, it's just not, it's not sexy and it's not real. I, I don't understand. I don't understand what people are thinking because they're like, oh, my God, Sora 2 is going to kill social media. Nobody, I, the human part about yourself cannot allow yourself to look at something, at least for now, for so long, to not know it's fake. The difference is if they were smart, they would have released Sora 2 and didn't say it was AI. That's how you get everybody. It's have people watching content and be like, wait a minute, none of this is real because the the the, the way that this stuff is looking, the way that people are jumping into it, because you can do this thing called Cameo on Sora 2, where you can take yourself and then add it to the app and then put yourself into anybody's posts. Wow. If they make a post about doing something, let's, let's, say, let's say they make a post about skydiving and jumping out of a plane, right? Then you can do a cameo and take that same post and put you in there with your voice and now you're doing it. And I was like, yo, who want to do that? I'm not doing that. It's super, super scary. I'm not with, I'm not with none of that it's, at all. You wouldn't, you wouldn't put yourself in a movie or anything? No, nah, man, I'm not doing, man, mm -mm. When I saw that, I saw those, I saw those biggie, the biggie, um, there's a lot of notorious B.I.G. content that I saw. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm like in Tupac, like Tupac walking into the ring like he's about to wrestle. And it's just like, and, and, and again, I was like, why is it always the black icons first? And we have to do a better job about respecting our icons because we always have fun. With our, and I'm like, yo, there's not a lot of respect. Again, I, I, I mean, they're doing Bob Ross crazy on there. They're doing JFK crazy on there. Like, why they got Bob Ross, you know, painting with his hair? And it's just like, that's disrespectful in his his family, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't really, you know, like that stuff. It's it's going even further than um, people in real life. Uh, even there's a lot of animation yep. um, that's really? being disrupted as a result, mm -hmm. and so now studios are going are now um, trademarking and saying you do not have the right to use our characters in these um, training the AI models. Yeah, exactly. So 